Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To collaborate in real time on a presentation in PowerPoint by using its co-authoring features, you must be using PowerPoint as part of a Microsoft 365 subscription. You must also save the shared presentation file to an online site like OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, or SharePoint Online. Co-authoring lets you collaborate on shared PowerPoint presentations at the same time as other users. To share a presentation using co-authoring in PowerPoint for Microsoft 365, if you haven't yet saved the file online, open the presentation to share. Then click the Share button in the upper right corner of the ribbon to open a Share pane. This pane lists the connected online OneDrive and SharePoint sites to which you can share the file. Click the desired choice in the Share pane to upload a copy of the presentation to that site. After doing that, the Share pane then turns into the Send Link pane. Alternatively, if you clicked the Share button within a file that you had already saved online, then the Send Link pane appears right away instead. The Send Link pane lets you choose the users to invite to collaborate on the presentation via a link you send to their email addresses. To configure the sharing link, click the type of link shown in the Send Link pane, or click the drop down next to the To, Name, Group, or Email field, and then select the Link Settings command to change it into the Link Settings pane. Then click the Link Type button that shows the users with whom to share the link. Link type choices include anyone with the link, people in your organization's name with the link, people with existing access, or specific people. For most choices, you can also check or uncheck the Allow Editing checkbox at the bottom of the pane to choose whether or not to allow editing access if desired. You must allow editing access to let others collaborate on the file with you. Otherwise, they can only view the presentation, not edit it. For many sharing choices, if you uncheck the Allow Editing checkbox, you can also enable the Block Download switch by clicking it to Block Downloading to if desired. Additionally, if you select the Anyone with the Link option, you can click into the Set Expiration Date field at the bottom of this pane to select an expiration date for the sharing link if desired. You can also password protect the file if you choose the Anyone with the Link option by clicking into the Set Password field and then typing the desired file password. Note that you will need to provide this password to anyone with this link so they can access the file. After changing your link settings, click the Apply button to continue and return to the Send Link pane again. Then enter the users' names or email addresses and or the names of Microsoft 365 groups as needed into the To, Name, Group, or Email field, which is above the line in this pane. Then select the names from the dropdown that appears to add them to the list. Continue doing this until you have added all the users with whom to share the file. To enter an optional message to the email, Type it into the message field. To then email the invitations, click the Send button in the Send Link pane. Then click the X button in the upper right corner of the confirmation message box that appears to tell you the email is sent. Alternatively, to instead get a sharing link to either view or edit the shared file, which you can then send to other users in emails or other kinds of messaging apps, edit the sharing link settings as usual. Then click the Copy Link button instead of the Send button at the bottom of the Send Link pane. The link is then copied and appears within a Link to File Name Copied pane. You can also click the link's adjacent copy button to copy the link to your clipboard if needed. You can then send the link to your desired recipients using whatever application you want. Then click the X button in the upper right corner of the link to file name copied pane to close it when finished. Alternatively, to send the link via your desktop Outlook application if available, edit the sharing link settings as usual. Then click the Outlook button instead of the Send button at the bottom of the Send Link pane. 
your desktop version of Outlook then opens and creates an email with the link to send. Alternatively, to share a non-collaborative copy of the file as a PowerPoint presentation or PDF attachment via Outlook, click the Send a Copy button at the bottom of the Send Link pane. Then select either PowerPoint Presentation or PDF from the pop-up menu that appears. Your desktop version of Outlook then opens and attaches a copy of the shared file to an email using the file type you selected. You can then send this to the recipients as usual. Note that this is not a shared file, however, and you are only sending them a copy of the file. To stop sharing a presentation or change its sharing settings, open the Send Link pane again by clicking the Share button at the right end of the ribbon. To add more users, repeat the sharing process again. To remove sharing links to the file for users and groups, Click one of the icons that appear to the right of the Shared With label in the pane for the users and groups to whom you have granted access to then change the pane into the Manage Access pane. Any links that you have created to give users and or groups access to the file for sharing then appear in a list within this pane. To remove a link, click the ellipsis mark button to the right of the link to see its link options. Then click the X button to the right of the link to delete it. Then click the Delete Link button in the confirmation message box that appears to confirm the link's deletion. Alternatively, note that you can also click the Back Arrow button in the upper left corner of the Manage Access pane to return to the Send Link pane again without making any changes. After you finish co-authoring the PowerPoint presentation if needed, you can then save a local copy of the shared file to your computer by clicking the File tab in the ribbon and selecting the Save a Copy command at the left side of the backstage view. After confirming you have saved the copy, you can then safely delete the file from its shared network or online location if needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.